Good morning. It is currently 3.31 in the morning. I only slept for two hours, but it's okay. Let's go to Vegas. Are you excited? Loving it. Loving it? What time is it? I don't know. I go to bed. <laughs> we, we didn't sleep. We're delusional. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. morning this just popped up on my face it's so rude we're in our hotel room after many hours of traveling i'm gonna give you a tour here's the door you walk in and here's like an overview and then you come over here and it's the bathroom which is like hella nice there's the bathtub hey there's a freaking tv in here the sink a little, little like makeup area and then the toilet's in here it was a phone and then you come over here these are the beds and everything we plopped all our stuff down and then you come down here there's Craig <laughs> you got a little seating area you got an Amy checking out the food <laughs> and then the best part of the whole room this view this is insane so cool all those shops down there you got Dior, Louis, Chanel and there's like pools and stuff down there this view is insane I'm obsessed food court now we kind of got a smorgasbord of everything so i got a slice of cheese pizza from that place over there and she got what is this called a stromboli a stromboli of veg, veg the vegetarian yep and then she got some wine and dad got some panda express and then mom and i got the two bread sticks with the marinara sauce it looks bustin bustin and I'm about to eat because I haven't eaten since like 4 a.m. this morning, so I'm gonna eat. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're at a restaurant called Buddy V's. It's Italian food.
All right, good morning. It's 9.02 in the morning. Um, we all woke up like, I don't know, an hour ago. And now I'm about to get ready for the day. We're going on a helicopter. I'm terrified for my life, but I'm also very excited. Okay, so I just got changed. I'm just wearing this long sleeve Michigan t-shirt, which is now really big on me because I lost some weight. But that's okay. I actually like my clothes oversized. Um, and then I have some black leggings on. But then, I was going to put this uh, windbreaker over. But I don't know if I'll be too hot because it was supposed to be like 67, 68 degrees today. I was going to put this windbreaker on because we're going in a helicopter. And it's probably going to be like a little chilly. And it just looks really cool, you know. going to be all fitted. Here's what it looks like. I'll put it on to show you what it looks like on. Okay, so this is what the windbreaker looks like on swoosh on the side and then there's like this big pocket and these two little nike swooshes i don't know i think it's very me i love it i feel like just the windbreaker will be just fine yeah i, th I think i'm just gonna go with just the windbreaker and take the t-shirt off just took the t-shirt off it's definitely way better without the t-shirt um and i feel like i'll be just fine it feels warm if it's really windy i feel like i'll still be warm so all good. Right now, I'm about to get ready because this hair, like, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm just gonna, like, redo, like, the little pin I have back here and just kind of put some water in it so the frizz goes down a little bit. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some mascara on. There's, like, this little makeup mirror right here, and I'm gonna use it to put this on anyways if i'm looking down i'm doing this i'm gonna try to talk to you guys while i do my mascara i don't know how well that's gonna work because when i do my mascara i'm like really focused but i'm gonna try to talk while i do it if i don't it'll be time lapsed got my vanilla latte and i got my water stay hydrated this coffee is so good So I just take this little clip and I take like the two front pieces of my hair. See, if I lift it down, it would look like this. And it's just, it doesn't look that good. Like it's in my face and it just, I don't like the look of my hair like when these two pieces are down. So I just take these two and I go like this. And then I just, oh. Take it like this, and then I take a clip, and then I just boop, just like that. Um, after I do my mascara, I'm going to put some water in my hair so the frizz is a little less. I mean, it's not that bad today, but I'm still going to add some water. Okay, mascara time. All right, helicopter. I'm, I know I already said it, but I'm terrified. I am terrified. The thing is, I do okay on plane rides, like, anxiety-wise. I have really bad anxiety, like, I was diagnosed with it, and I just, it's a daily struggle. Like, I struggle with it on a daily basis. Um, so, like, it really sucks because sometimes it stops me from doing fun things. Like, I've been in a lot of situations where, like, I've gotten invited to do stuff, and I don't go because my anxiety gets really bad and then I just don't go. So it stopped me from doing a lot of fun things and it ruins the fun and everything. So like plane rides, like I love traveling. Like I love traveling. My goal in life is to travel the world and vlog it. I do okay on plane rides. I was pretty anxious on the plane ride here. Um, I don't really know why. Like, obviously, with anxiety, like, you don't really know why you're anxious about a lot of things. Like, it's just there. Like, you don't really know why you're anxious. But, like I said, I did okay. I was anxious. But it was alright. It wasn't bad. I love being at the airport and, like, just traveling. Like, everything about traveling, I love. So my point with that is... I'm so excited for this helicopter ride because I know like the views are gonna be insane. Like the scenery and like just the views from the helicopter 
are gonna be insane. And I'm so excited. Like, it literally lands in the Grand Canyon. And we, like, walk around for, like, 30 minutes, I think. You get, like, a half hour to walk around. So, I'm really excited. It literally, like, it lands in the Grand... Ooh. Someone's knocking. That was the housekeeping people. I feel bad because I opened the door like I thought she was my parents. Like I thought she was my mom and dad because they've like, I don't know, I think I thought that was my parents like forgot their key card or whatever so they were knocking at the door. So I opened the door like expecting my parents and then it was like housekeeping so I like jumped. It was really awkward and I feel bad. Alright, we're at a brewery for lunch now. Before we hop on the helicopter, we got fries, shrimp, 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 shrimp. We got a Gabriel, we got an Amy, and we're watching the Rams versus Bucks game. I'm rooting for the Rams. Let's go, Rams. Alright, we got the main course. We got a burger, we got another burger, we got a salad. Got another burger. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. This is insane. The video does not do this justice. This is insane. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring the suckers down, singing louder than the crowd. Got gelato. Right. It's really freaking good. All right, it's the next day. We came to In and Out for lunch. First time trying it. I think it's a 10 out of 10. What do you think? Definitely. Yeah. What do you think? I'll be back. Oh, what do you think? Really, really good. 10 out of 10. Guys, I just made an impulse decision. Oops. When I get back to the hotel room, I'll show you what I bought. Um, feeling a little crazy today, I guess. I guess I'm just feeling a little wild today. Oopsies. All right, I'm with mom. In this little cafe, we got gelato, and I got an iced cafe latte. How is it? It's very good. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really good. 
10 out of 10. Unboxing time. I'm gonna give you guys a little unboxing haul of what I got. This is my very first Louis purchase and my very first Louis item. So I'm really excited. They had this tied in like a really cute, like fancy bow. But I opened the box earlier to show my dad and I tried to retie it, but it was not good. Okay, so here is the box. Here's like the little bag that comes in. Here is what it looks like. This is the key pouch and then you open it and there's not much space, but this is perfect because I don't really carry that many things with me. Like I carry like, I don't know, my credit card and my driver's license and that's about it. So this is perfect for me. I love the black and like the tan color. I don't even think I have to say this, but I just wanna put it out there. I am not flexing or flaunting my things. You have to understand that I do not frequently buy designer items. Um, I had some money saved up and I wasn't really saving up for anything specific and I had been eyeing this for a really long time, so I don't know. I just decided that, I mean, we're in Vegas. Why not? I'm very, very happy with this and I'm glad to have it. I know a lot of people like have different opinions about like designer items. Like I know a lot of people think that they're ugly or they don't like the design, but me personally, I'm really into it. I like it. I know it's like ridiculous, like a small thing like this is like so much money, but I don't know. To me, I, I like the stuff. I think that the designs are cool. I think that the colors are cool, but yeah, I, I just like everybody has their own opinions. Anyways, that is all. That's the unboxing. Getting sushi burritos for dinner. This looks amazing. Everybody else got bowls, but I got a burrito because it just looked interesting and I wanted to try it. All right, now we are at the Mirage Theater and we're seeing Shinlin. He's a magician, he won America's Got Talent. We are currently at the airport. We're going home. I'm very sad. Don't want to go home. I've had the best time. Very sad. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.